today I'm going to talk about the topic box jellyfish use terrestrial visual cues for navigation. First, what's the box jellyfish? You can see the left picture. There are so many kinds of box jellyfish, but here we talk about this kind, Tripithelia cystophora. <coughs> and they prefer to live in the habit is mangrove the good canopy. What is canopy? Canopy is, in here is a shelter that made by the mangroves. <coughs> and the box jellyfish usually has a, has a structure which called opalia, including two slit eyes here, two pit eyes here, and one upper lens eyes and one lower lens eyes. Pit eyes and slit eyes just can detect the light or darkness but upper lens eyes and lower lens eyes can form images in their eyes. Second, what's the terrestrial visual cues? Terrestrial means it comes from the land, not from the water. So, uh, bass jellyfish are not found in the open lagoons because, they're, they, because in there they will risk to start. So, the visual, so the visual information is you they use to search for the age of mangrove lagoon canopy. Mangrove is a plant that live in the intertidal zone. Lagoon uh, is a shelter shelter water shelter water that is separated by barrier islands. So in here the good mangrove lagoon is here and canopy is here the shelter. So the terrestrial visual cues is the is the age of mangrove lagoon camp. Third, how to navigate. They usually detect the mangrove canopy by upper lens size. You can see here is Ropalia, here is uh, the B, the picture B is their side view. The picture D is their front view. So what is upper lens size? Uh, upper lens size usually keeps their visual fields straight upward at all times and are related to their body, their directional body. So, and the size of visual field always uh, usually close with the angle of 97 degrees because of snail's window. So here is upper, upper eye, here is lower eye, and retina is a place where, where the image can form. So what is snail's window? Snail's window is a theory just because this theory they can they can see whatever above the water surface. So when the light passed through the water surface, the images was compressed by refraction. The theory is when through 97 degrees circular window, we can see the entire 180 degrees. So in other words, we can see whatever on the water whatever above the water surface through this circle. After the, after the introduction of my topic, I want, to, I want to prove whether the box jellyfish use their eyes to navigate. We designed two experiments to prove that. First one is change the distance. Second one is to prove whether they navigate by mangrove canopy rather than sunlight. The first uh, experiment one, we put several box, box jellyfish in a cylindrical tank to, to test whether they can detect the five meter tall mangrove canopy at different distance and at zero, two, four, eight, and 12 meter. We can see picture, picture A are very, very, very are red lines. Red lines means they are roots of, of, of box jellyfish. You can see a, uh, you can see at zero to four meters, their main swimming direction are toward the nearest mangrove trees. You can see canopy is here. The picture B is the statistical analysis of the swimming pattern. So uh, you can see the red dots mark the preferred direction. The red arrow 
indicate the main vector of swimming direction. You can see the more long, a longer arrow, a longer arrow, indicate a uniform swimming direction. Uh, two stars means means it's more obvious, and unless means it's not significant. So we can next to see at a meter and at twelve meter. At a meter, we can see they could detect the direction to the nearest canopy. But at 12 meters, they swung randomly along the edge of the tank. We can also see a statistical, statistical analysis, a longer arrow, and a uh, this is These are images of snail's window. We can see when the distance increased, the lagoon edge disappeared. So, next column, we can see there, uh, these are the same images, but it was processed by the visual model to make, make the view seen through the upper lens size of box jellyfish. We can also see the when the distance increased, 2, 4, 8, and 12, the gray, the gray level is less. Gray level is less. So what is gray level? Gray level is the calculated relative photon catch in the receptor cells of the retina. So we can see uh, the, uh, oh, in uh, experiment two, we put two times three times five meter white sheet to put up in about four meter in front of the canopy. We guess that the box jellyfish can't see the canopy that hidden by the white sheet. That means they get lost. So we can see picture A. Picture A is the visual scene in snail's window. We can see the canopy was uh, was completely blocked by the white sheet. And picture B is also processed processed by the visual model. So we can see that canopy signature is close to cancel by the white sheet. There is the signal of sun. We can compare to the images we just seen before. And in picture C, here is canopy, here is white sheet. And the open circle is the release point of white medusa. Uh, the color arrow indicates the approximate initial heading. The color color circle indicates the approximate end point. So we can see the result is after the canopy was hidden by a white sheet, five meters say go randomly, go different direction. Here are two results of two experiments. We can we can respond to the forward objective, whether the box jellyfish use their eyes to navigate. You can see in a experiment one, change the distance. The result is box jellyfish. Uh, have the strongest behavior at four meter. The experiment two navigate by mangrove canopy rather than the sunlight. The result is they couldn't find a canopy that was hidden by the white sheet. So here is my conclusions. Uh, first, they use their upper lens eyes to guide them to the habitat at the lagoon edge. And the second one is they would swim toward this edge if they are closer than about a meter away from it. Thanks for attention. Okay. Nine seconds for a uh, nine minutes for a second.
the lower eyes is used for. Uh, uh, lower eyes and upper lens, uh, and upper eyes is is the same same function. They can they can see just like our our, our eyes. Uh, yeah, let's see up. Sunny, what is simple photo sensors? <coughs> oh, simple photo sensors. <coughs> simple photo sensors is is eyes and slit eyes. <coughs> Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Edwin. Yeah, I take a look at the discussion part. This part. This. Discussion. Discussion. I I don't have. Oh, I mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the result. The result. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, why? The strongest behavior is at four meters. Since you, uh, uh, yeah. we we because the experiment result and and just like our our eyesight just can just can see the uh, 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 a special <laughs> distance okay, okay. just like our eyes. Uh, Howard. Uh, is there other factor that affect the negative way of invocation? Or is only affect the other factor? Other factor. Other factor. Affect, affect what? Uh, their invocation. If if there are any any other factors to affect to affect their navigation, here here uh, uh, in experiments we we put them in <coughs> cylindrical wall, so they. They, 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 they are separated from from the the good. So, um, so we we excluded the 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 obstacles in waters that that affect their eyesight. So here, I guess. I guess in exper in experiments is no other factors. Okay, one to question any. Okay, first, second, first. How do you determine the heritage advocate is because of the upper eyes, not the lower eyes? Repeat. You want to know? What the navigation is 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 controlled by the upper lens eyes, not from not, not because the lower lens eye because they <coughs> they want to uh, through two experiments is to prove they they see the they see they see the mangrove canopy. So so the upper lens eyes is see the upward, the lower lens eyes see the downward. So they use their upper lens eyes to navigate. Why, why, uh, why don't they can use the lower lens eyes to see underwater? Oh, because because this detailist can can keep can keep can keep the visual field straight upward. That means they always keep the straight. So the upper lens eyes always uh, upward, and lower lens eyes always upward so they can see the above the water use upper lens eyes so the lower lens eyes can see the upper lens eyes 
Uh, oh, wait, I have to stop here. <laughs> <laughs> She wants to know whether the box jellyfish can different the uh, color. Uh, I can detect the color. Uh, I I guess it. They can't because this is this is to make make the view thing through the upper lens side. So here is the photon catch. So they get uh, we guess that they can't. Uh, different uh, color in their eyes. So just, just, just the canopy. The canopy is here, so they can catch more water. What else in their eyes? Yes. Okay, my turn. Okay, so uh, I think you uh, will agree with me that it's a very enjoyable talk and it's very clear. So I think the first good thing about this talk is you will see it's image rich. So almost all each slide has image. Even a concluding slide like this, she put her data as a cue to remind you the data that supports her statements. This is very useful. Okay. And another thing is large font. I have to emphasize again, large font is really good, especially when I was editing your in, uh, footage. I found out something that the font was so small that I cannot really see when I was watching the video. Okay. Uh, okay, and then I think that the, the, uh, data, uh, the data and the experiments are all well guided, and she also make uh, this is something that you should pay attention to. She also specified that, for example, this slide, she said that this is made by computer. So whoever has a data or graph, for example, like the previous talk, that was based on computer model, you have to say that. This is not observational, it's a um, uh, uh, virtual world, okay? It's not really real, okay? Okay. And uh, okay, and uh, there's only a small thing that I noticed. I cannot remember where. Here, right. Please, please pay attention that in English there is no such a symbol. What should we use here? No, no, no. This is Chinese. I know. What should be used instead? Comma, comma, okay? So in English, there's no such thing. Do not use this, okay? <coughs> and, uh, okay. Yeah. But otherwise, I think it's a very uh, clear and very enjoyable talk. And uh, if you can look at the audience even more often, that will be even be better, okay? Good. Uh, so I think we are in time. So we come back to him tonight. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, uh, Sherry.